welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is David and this is David's Closet. If you're new here, I like to talk about handbags, accessories, lifestyle, all of those fun things from my point of view and on a budget. I'm going to apologize, my hair, I literally got out of the shower about two minutes ago. I need a shave and I need a haircut, but um, life has been busy, which we'll get into here in a second. Um, but I just wanted to come on and make a quick video. It's kind of going to be a hodgepodge video. First, I'm going to do a what's in my bag because I'll tell you why. And then I'm going to do just a quick life update, why there was no video last week and why things are just a little bit crazy. And also a really, really, really wonderful reveal that I'm so excited about. I love so very, very much. And I can't wait to show you. I unboxed it, but I'm going to show it to you. So the first thing is the what's in my bag. This is my small short handle. Longchamp Le Pliage, um, however you say it, uh, in the purple color. I think it's called like plum or something. I love this bag. Um, it's been really rainy here the end of last week, all through the weekend. And I'm currently filming this on Wednesday and I just haven't had time to change out of it. And that's fine because the weather has matched. Um, I've always said I wouldn't probably buy another one of these. I love it, but I don't use them enough. And I think actually I'm going to add another one. I think I might try to See if I can snag a red one just to add some color variation to my closet for a relatively inexpensive price. Um, and also have another one to use because these things are amazing. I love these. So what sparked the what's in my bag video, I was at work the other day uh, for an in-office day and I was looking for my chapstick and I was pulling stuff out of my bag and my coworker just kind of looked over and chuckled because it's some pretty fun stuff in here. So I want to kind of do that. Um, and I also just want to show you kind of like what, kind of what goes in there. I don't have an organizer or anything, so it's just all tossed in there. First things first, just some receipts and papers, nothing fun there. This wallet, I got this on Amazon. I do believe I showed you guys. It's just an accordion style wallet. I absolutely love it. Um, I don't know if it's real leather or not, but it feels nice and it's compact, but it holds all of my cards and a much more compact forum. <laughs> Funny item number one, the bag from Culver's. I'll explain later, <laughs> maybe. Um, a gauze pad, a cat toy. We went to PetSmart, <laughs> got some toys for Diva. This is a Vera Bradley, which I know, I'm not a Vera Bradley like connoisseur, but I like the nautical theme, <coughs> theme, sorry. And here I just have my AirTag, uh, Tesla key, and just some change. Um, sometimes I swap into a different change holder, but for now I've been using that. Another cat toy. These were on sale for like two bucks at PetSmart. I think PetSmart. I have my Louis Vuitton catch-all which if you look in here, it just has some cards, like business cards and uh, frequent shopper cards. Native deodorant, I've raved about this. I love these mini native deodorants. Uh, floss, some wet ones, and some toothpicks. Just a random catch-all. Touchland hand sanitizer, that's almost gone. This is the mango scent, I love it. More receipts and our veterinarian business card. Diva had a vet appointment. A Kleenex or a tissue. My Chanel mirror, which was probably a waste of money for me because I like never use it, but I have it. My Diva pouch. I'm not bossy. I am the boss. And in here, just some like pills and things. Um, what ones that I get from restaurants when I have extras, things like that. Just kind of a little catch all of necessities. Another cat toy, a bookmark that my husband got at the pet store. Champagne toast, one of my favorite scents from Bath and Body. This is just the hand cream. It's that time of year where things are getting dry. My two lip balms, Nivea strawberry and my Gucci. I don't really like the Gucci. I do like the Nivea. It is tinted though, but not like super tinted. I don't really notice it. My Volvo key. Fun fact, this isn't the key fob that it came with. I bought this on Amazon. When I had my last Volvo, same key setup, you couldn't buy a replacement like, like non-OEM 
key things. You could just buy like the silicone covers. Um, but now they sell the actual like things where you just pop off the old one and put this on. The car comes with the black and orange one, but I bought this because it's the same color as the car. Uh, it was like 40 bucks. I thought that was really cool. And the Volvo keychain was from my last one. I kept it because I knew I'd go back. My watch because I never wear it anymore. A little pill case which is some ibuprofen and things of that nature. Some gummy bears from Halloween. My business card holder. The rest of my keys. I don't carry them together. And then <laughs> Just a mix of mints, Olive Garden mints, a wet one, and some Tums that I paid $4 for, this little roll, at my office, and then a pen. And that's it. So now, drama number one. Um, luckily, I am super observant on things. This last two weeks ago, um, I was decorating for Christmas. I took the week after Halloween off to take down fall, put up Christmas. I do it probably every other year. Most of the time I just do it on the weekends. But I decided to do this year, I needed to use some PTO. And while I was on a ladder in our living room downstairs, um, I noticed a little spot about the size of a penny on the ceiling, right under the guest bathroom sink. So upstairs we have three baths, the primary, one of the guest rooms has their own bath, and then this room and the other guest room share one. This never gets used, like hardly ever. And it's literally right on the other side of this wall right here. Anyway, I called the plumber out. <laughs> Long story short, I don't know what happened. They were trying to determine the leak before they had started cutting in our to our ceiling. They first tried to go through the back wall of this closet in my bag room. The leak was below the subfloor, so they ended up having to cut the ceiling anyway. But while they were doing something, and I'm sure it was a mistake, the water was running while they were trying to identify. And I think they pulled the P-trap and water got behind the vanity and into my closet. Only probably about a foot into the closet and only about half of the closet. It wasn't a lot of water, but you get water on carpet, it absorbs and just kind of goes everywhere. So unfortunately, everything on the floor in my closet got ruined. Luckily, nothing super crazy was in there. The only thing that got damaged that I'm upset about is my bed frame from my antique bed set. It's fixable, it's salvageable, it's fine. I was able to dry it out. Luckily, the water was only there for a day or two before I noticed um, because I put everything back in there after they um, you know, put the drywall back up that they took down. And ironically, two days later I was in here, I was gonna swap bags and I opened the closet to grab some fluff to stuff a bag and I, I noticed the fluff was wet. So my bag room got tore apart because all the bags had to emergency leave, be stored in another room with the door shut. While we had dehumidifiers, I had to rip up the carpet to put fans in, all that stuff. Luckily, like I said, very minor amount of water, but just enough, unfortunately, to wreak havoc. And seeing that I have these bags in here, I wanted this room to be 100% perfect before I put them back in. That's why I couldn't film a video last week. Now onto the good thing. I have a reveal for you, and you guys are not ready for this. Okay, so not even gonna waste time. <laughs> Say hi to baby Veda. Say hi, Veda. Diva has a sister and her name is Veda. And she's a three and a half, almost four month old, all black kitty, just like her sister, except she doesn't have the little itty bitty white patch. She, uh, when we took her to the vet last week, she was three pounds, five ounces. And she's little. Now big sister has seen her. Big sister has hissed at her. Big sister has meowed at her. And big sister has spent the time on the other side of the bathroom door. Intrigued. So um, was not in the market for a cat. Didn't plan on getting a cat. This is the last cat. Um, but it's true what they say. They pick you. And she did. I went to check her, I found her online. My friend who rescued Diva, didn't rescue her, but was at the shelter um, taking care of some of the cats she was fostering. And this little girl was so depressed in her kennel that I wanted just to go check on her. She was right around the corner from my office after work one day, 24 hours later, 
she came home with us. So she's currently in her little quarantine. She has what they call shelter sniffles. So she's on a little antibiotic and our powder room downstairs we've set up as her transition space, just like we did with big sister Diva. The difference is Diva didn't have to stay quarantined because there was no other cats in the house. I'm filming this on Wednesday. They get to meet each other on Friday, officially. They have met each other. We've, you know, picked her up. Diva's been on the floor and we've kept a couple feet distance, of course, but we've let them see each other. They know they exist. This little girl wants to run and play with Big Sister every time she sees her. Big Sister's still unsure, but I do think they're going to be fast friends. Well, she's going a little crazy and I got to get her back to her room. I woke her up from her nap, so she's probably mad. But say hello to Veda. So now we have a diva and a Veda. V-E-D-A. I like the movie My Girl, um, but I don't like it spelled V-A-D-A. I prefer the E. So, yes. I love you. So, yes. Welcome to the family, kiddo. Please pray if you do that big sister loves her and doesn't eat her. I got a daddy. I got a family now. I, I'm not a homeless kitty. I'm a good girl. Yeah, look at you. Yeah. And I forgot to tell you, the bag was because cats love to play with paper bags and it's her size. So I, I took it home from the restaurant and I realized you probably hear a humming noise. My mini dehumidifier has been running nonstop because of course I'm trying to make sure this room is perfect. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for loving my baby. And please, please, please hope, pray, wish, whatever you need that big sister and her become fast best friends. Thank you. Bye-bye.